We all know how important music is in a wedding. It sets the mood and can make or break the entire event. But what if the people who invited you to the wedding are not humans? Scary, right? Today, I'm going to tell you an interesting one of a kind story a hair raising story about the artist who sang in the wedding of the djinn without her knowing. A unique story of a fascinating woman. That will send a chill down your spine. Without further ado, let's dive into the anecdote of the singer who sang at the wedding of djinn. Nora Rabi Ismail Ali was born in 1950 and passed away on May 7, 2016. She was a Kuwaiti folk singer and was considered one of the most famous folk music artists in the Gulf region. She completed all her studies and obtained a political science degree from Kuwait University. Nora achieved great fame in the local area, and in most of the Gulf countries. She learned to play the oud and excelled in it. She used to write her own songs and compose them herself, and she was known for her distinctive and beautiful voice. She grew up in an artistic family, as her mother was the late artist Sanaa, who was accompanying the band of the late artist Oda Al Muhana. Her mother formed her own band, and Nora participated in it during her secondary school. After her mother's retirement, she continued with the band until she retired in 1997. Nora's sudden retirement raised many questions. And the only way to get answers to those questions was through an interview. But Nora refused to have any interview with anyone. It is said that after so many attempts, one of the journalists succeeded in convincing her to conduct an interview with him, for unknown reasons. The only copy of that audio recording was lost, and the announcer died shortly after the interview was conducted. According to Internet Legends, the story of Nora goes like this. In 1997, Nora received a phone call from a woman who asked her to perform with her band in the wedding of her daughter who happened to be a big fan of her. Nora refused at the beginning because she had a very packed schedule. But she agreed at the end because the woman insisted and begged a lot, even though her instinct told her that something was wrong and strange about that party. On the day of the wedding, at around 9 p.m., Nora and her band arrived to location of the wedding party. They were welcomed by the father of the bride, and then they entered the house which was full of people, decorations and lights, things which indicated that it was an actual wedding party. They were led to a room to change their clothes. After they had changed and got ready for the party, a tall pale woman along with other girls came and greet them with their rough textured skin. The moment they entered, the room's temperature has changed and became hot. One of the girls in the band told Nora that she had a very strange feeling and that there was something fishy going on. Nora told her that she was feeling the same thing. Nora and her bandmates then headed to the place where the party was held. There, they noticed that everything there was exaggerated, and for their understanding that was an indication of extreme wealth. As they were looking around they caught sight of the groom who was dressed in a strange outfit as if was from another era and the bride was wearing a black dress with some white dots and covered with very expensive stones. Both the groom and the bride, were not moving or looking any other way, they were sitting as if they were statues. The party began and the band started performing. During the break, Nora went to one of the rooms on the second floor to lay down, because she was very tired, after she fell asleep. She had a very strange nightmare of a scary woman in a black dress screaming and running behind her. Nora woke up terrified, as she left the room, she was surprised by a little child coming out of one of the other rooms and was running towards her, he stopped and went up to the third floor. Her curiosity pushed her to follow the child. She lost the child as she reached the third floor, as she was looking for him she heard his laughter, then she proceeded to follow the sound. As Nora approached the little child, he entered a room, she grabbed the door's handle and tried to open it, but it was locked. She knocked and no one answered, then decided to go back to the first floor. As she turned to leave, she felt someone grabbing her feet, she tried to run but she couldn't, she was stuck, as that person was holding her feet tightly while whispering, sing, sing, I love your voice. After a long struggle, Nora was finally able to escape from whoever was holding her feet. 
She went straight to her bandmates terrified and asked them to change their clothes so they can perform and get out of there. The band started performing, and suddenly the people on the hall started hysterically singing and dancing as their dresses rised, revealing their hairy goat like feet. When the band saw that, they immediately run away and they successfully got out of the creepy house. Before anything bad could happen to them. Outside the house, they met a man from whom they learned that the house has been abandoned for so many long years, after they told him about what they have experienced inside. After that horrific night, Nora and all her bandmates decided to retire and they completely disappeared. If you like more stories like this one, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.